Welcome. Let's start talking about ways that you can start dividing domestic labor a little bit more fairly. So we've talked about things like the CPE, which again is the conception, the planning, and the execution of a task. So when you start implementing a system like fair play and you're shooting for actual equity and actual fairness, you are aiming for owning the entire task. So if one partner says they're going to do something and then needs reminders, needs a list to be made, or needs to be walked through how to do it over and over again, that is not them owning the task. The goal is to not be reminded it is fully one person's responsibility. Um, if, If something happens and it falls through the cracks or they forget to do it, then they deal with the natural con the natural consequence. One example of that is uh, our daughter has a favorite dress, and if the laundry is not washed and she doesn't have her dress on Saturday, she throws a fit. It's hard for us to get out the door, and the person who was supposed to do the laundry or or get it in her drawer has to then be the parent who is supporting her through this tantrum, and they might need to figure out what else she can wear or do an emergency quick wash of her favorite dress. So whoever's responsibility is, they deal with the natural consequence of that. The way to um, do this well is to have a check-in once a week, especially as you are starting to implement this, because Okay, if the if the laundry ends up piling up for weeks, that's an issue. People don't have underwear to wear. However, if you have an established check-in, even if you wanted to do it every couple of days in the beginning, if you have an established check-in, then you're not holding all of this stress and like, okay, when are we going to have this tough conversation? Um, when are we going to be able to talk about this? So have an established time to check in as you start implementing this. This is the list of 100 tasks that it takes to run a household effectively, efficiently. As you can see, there is home, out, caregiving, magic, wild, and then unicorn space. This is the list that was developed from Fair Play. It's in the book. You can get a copy of the book in the links. Um, You can get it on audio or hard copy. But I highly recommend actually reading the book. They do a great job of outlining it. You are going to see that there are coffee cups. I would highly recommend sitting down with your partner and doing this exercise. This is a really good jumping off point. You get a copy. They get a copy. Highlight your least favorite and your most favorite. You can get two different colors. You can sit down across from each other. You can hide it, whatever you want to do. Come back together. And this is where you say, okay, oh, you do like doing the dishes? Okay, then you should be doing them. I like doing the laundry. All right, awesome. I'm going to do that. And you find the places where one person likes to do it and one person doesn't. And you start distributing that way. And even if you just start there and you talk about things like, okay, what does it mean to own that entire task? What is the C, the P, and the E? This could be an hour-long conversation where you actually start using that shared language and um, learning to communicate a little bit more effectively about this. You don't have to jump into the whole system at once. You don't have to sign up for a workshop with me or a consultation. Just using the shared language can be an absolute game changer. Um, I think that's probably a great first step. If you want to hear more, like and subscribe because I'm going to keep coming at you with information.